Hey guys, what's up? It's Jason Wojo, and today we're going to talk about sponsorship. I want to talk about the pros and cons of being sponsored, as well as how you can get sponsored, and how you can get the attention of a company or entity that you would like to represent. So, the reason I'm having this video is because this is probably one of the most commonly asked questions I get through my email or through the website, and uh, it seems that everybody wants to be sponsored, okay? So, I'm here to tell you that sponsorships are great, but you also need to approach them carefully because it has to be a good fit for both parties. Um, for a sponsorship to be successful, it has to be mutually beneficial. So that means both parties, both you and the company or entity you're getting sponsored by, has to benefit from this relationship. Now, from the supplement company's point of view, I'm, I'm using a supplement company as an example, but it could be something else, um, a clothing line, for instance, or whatever. You have to improve their bottom line. Okay, your ultimate goal is to increase their visibility and thereby their revenue downstream so that they prosper and benefit from your participation and um, active association with their brand. So on your side, you, know, you have to get something from them as well. So this is most commonly for amateur athletes, uh, supplements, I'd say most, most Athletes I know get somewhere between two and five hundred dollars a month from a supplement company, um, as a general rule. A few get money, not not many that I know of, and um, you know other things are important as well. Is this company gonna um, promote you in their ads? Are they gonna pay your contest expenses, travel, things like that? Okay, so these are just things you need to think about. What are you gonna get out of the supplement company relationship? So, okay, assuming both sides um, are on the same page, the next thing you need to do is figure out how you can benefit this company. Now, they may have ideas for you already, but if they don't, you need to be creative, okay? What are you going to do for the company? So you'll notice, you know, right now I have a True Protein shirt on. I'm sponsored by True Protein. I've been very, very blessed to be associated with these guys. Um, out, outstanding group of individuals, Dante specifically, and I'm always trying to think of ways to promote sure protein. Similarly, you're going to have to do the same thing for whatever company you are associated with. I have a stack of t-shirts that I wear all the time to the gym, to work, to the movie theater, it doesn't matter. You need to be actively plugging your company and generating visibility for them as much as possible. Okay, what else can you do? How about Plugging them on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, you know, the social sites. Um, you can, um, I'm just reflecting on some notes here that I, that I took ahead of time. Um, you know, they can use your picture in ads. That, that may be what they want to do. Um, you can mention them in a blog. You can put their company website and a link in your um, tagline, in your, in your signature line, when you post on these discussion boards. Okay, um, how about writing articles for them? Uh, what else? Word of mouth advertising, of course, we all know that. Um, you may want to work booths, their, their supplement booth at contests. I did that for quite a while with ISS, another outstanding company. Um, so these are all things you can do from your side of the, of the table for the company, okay? And um, what else? That, that's basically it. I mean, be creative. You know, maybe you could give. Um, a talk at your gym, you know, and then mention the supplement company, or set up a little booth with some samples at your gym, you know, if you can, if you can just be creative, just think of little ways to make, you know, um, other people aware of your sponsor. Um, so now, you only want to work for a company that you believe strongly in. Do not accept a sponsorship from someone that you are on the fence about because it really truly may come back to haunt you. I mean, if you're going to get endorsed by a company that says, you know, gain 20 pounds of muscles in six days using XYZ product, do you really, really want to associate your image and your reputation with that company? Think about that carefully because I'm not sure any amount of money or free supplements is going to be worth tarnishing your integrity in the industry because it is a very small industry and people you know notice other people and people remember that kind of thing so always make sure that you 
are associated with a reputable company that treats you right, that has your back. I also know of another company, without naming names, who typically will grab 10 or 12 of the best upcoming amateur bodybuilders, get them under a really cheap contract for some free supplements, hoping that one of them or a couple of them will turn pro, and then guess which company has them at that cheaper rate and has the right of first refusal for that contract. Okay, so you don't want to be pigeonholed like that either. So just make sure that the supplement company has your best interests in mind as well. Okay, so don't, don't just jump the gun and say, oh, this company is so well known and I don't care if I don't get anything or if, if they're going to use my ad for whatever. I mean, be, be careful. Um, make sure you believe in the product because you're also you're not, gonna, you're not gonna want to promote products that you don't believe in yourself or don't use. So make sure that's another important thing that you consider. Um, okay, how do you get sponsored? The first thing you gotta do is find out who at the company handles sponsorship. Some of the big companies have a sponsor representative that you can easily find out through, um, if, you, if you contact the main number of the company, typically they can tell you who you need to talk to. Same thing, um, even with smaller companies, they usually don't have a designated sponsorship uh, officer or anyone that, that oversees that, but they'll have, um, typically in small companies, it's, it's the main owner of the company that, you know, decides. Or, you know, maybe they all get together. You know, a lot of these companies only have three, four, or five people in them, or less than ten at least. So it's not a huge, huge issue for one person, but, you know, I'd say the owner of these smaller companies is probably the best person to approach, and you can get that information pretty easily too by calling the main main number, or emailing customer service at these companies. Once you do that, you need to put together an intelligent package that highlights your experience and what you plan on doing for the company, as long as excuse me, as well as a resume. Okay, now this can be a bodybuilding resume, which is important, but also don't neglect to include a regular resume. Nobody wants um, how do I say this and be politically correct? Nobody wants a dumb meathead who can't pronounce more than two syllable words to represent their company. Okay, you need if you if you have a master's degree, that's fantastic. If you have a bachelor's degree, great. You know, show them that you are intelligent. Um, you can communicate well with others. You're motivated, and you know. Highlight all these things to make yourself appealing to that company. Now, um, if you are a contest bodybuilder, include some photos, a contest history, um, you know, your marketing plan. Include some of those ideas that we mentioned earlier in the video of what you plan on doing for the company. Um, if it's a company you really truly believe in, maybe even give them a pitch like, hey, listen, I'll do this stuff for free for a couple months. Tell me what you think if you're happy, and then we can, we can negotiate something after that. You don't have anything to lose, really. Um, so that maybe that's an option. You know, um, it's it's pretty much a um, a situation where you have to sell yourself to the company, and it's not the easiest thing to do because they are constantly inundated with people that want to get sponsored. So you really need to set yourself apart and show them what you're going to do for them versus what they are going to do for you. Because, you know, it's, it's all about them. And, and when it comes to that kind of situation, you need to appeal to their interests. Now, one thing I mentioned is, you know, I said contest history, this, that. If you're not a, even a contest bodybuilder, that's fine. You know, it doesn't really matter that much. As long as you um, still have great ideas for the company and look, you know, look like you work out, I'd say. And... Um, and have some motivation to, to really promote this entity, then I don't think you have to be a top competitor or, you know, um, national level bodybuilder either. So, you know, don't think that just because you're not a contest bodybuilder, you can't do this. You know, it's, it's, it's open to anybody that can benefit the company, I'd say. So, um, I think that's about it. If you guys have any questions, leave them on the video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.